washing of glassware made up of soda lime okay so if we talk about the chemical composition of soda lime glass these contain silica then sodium carbonate na2co3 then small amount of lime in the form of cao small amount of magnesium oxide mgo and aluminium oxide so this is basic composition of soda lime glass and our most of laboratory glassware are made up from soda lime glass because these are easy to heat up and more stable as compared to the silica glasswares but what is problem with these glassware steadily it can dissolve in water due to presence of sodium now our main topic is how we can wash glassware in our laboratory actually this is a practical thing right now we are just reading it so that in laboratory we can easily handle these kind of glassware so uh, we have three option to clean the glassware in our laboratory first is in most of big lab glassware is washed in three step we have automatic washer automatic washer in what uh, we will fill water in the washer by switching on the button after that we will heat what happen okay wait so uh, right now you are able to view this topic or not not yet wait it is displaying on your screen now okay done so how can we wash glassware in a laboratory first there are three step first we rinse glassware in the automatic washer second we add some chemical and this chemical can be any detergent or alcohol normally we use potassium salts for washing the glasswares and last step decontamination of the glassware okay so uh, first what is automatic washer in this we you just need to put your glassware then you switch on the button there will be filling of the water automatically dryer will make the make rise in temperature up to 100 degree celsius and then some organic solvent or detergent will be mixed with water and washing of glassware will take place automatically when these are washed out then by the help of hot stream of air these will sterilized normally nitrogen gas is used in the form of hot stream to dry these glassware and it is good method because you don't need to use your hand and so there are less chances of contamination because if we are using our hands or we are touching those glassware from our hand microorganism can transfer to those glassware right 
because on our hands or on our body there are lot of microbes which are attached right now in any medical equipment when we are going to use any medical equipment sterilization is must so automatic glassware are good option but these are very expensive so in our like in our college laboratory or some kind of small clinical laboratory we can't afford these kind of automatic glassware so second option we will wash them manually with hand for washing with hand what we, we will do we can use hot water or cold water depending upon the need of practical if we need more sterilized condition we can use hot water then we manually add some detergent for example detol or bim we add detergent then we wash those glassware we can use brush to use the to wash the glassware or we can wear the gloves then we can properly clean glassware and there is a particular procedure which we need to follow during washing first we will shock the glassware in 5% bleach or by boiling water we can use any kind of detergent for example any cleaning water powder which we use in our home then we can also autoclave these glassware so what is autoclaving actually in laboratory there is a sterilized chamber which is known as autoclave what is property of autoclave like uh, yesterday i told you about the hot air oven right autoclave in autoclave we use hot stream to sterilize things so what is role of this hot stream actually the temperature of hot stream is around 120 degree celsius or 130 degree celsius so it can give you more good result as compared to the hot air oven or direct heating the glassware you you know why we cook our food in pressure cooker because when there is increase in pressure boiling of water will take place at higher temperature as compared to the 100 degree celsius normally water boil at 100 degree celsius but in pressure cooker boiling take place at 120 or 130 degree celsius so that's why food cooked very easily in low time in low in less time and same is principle of autoclaving sterilization autoclave is a pressure cooker type of instrument which consists of a lid very high weight lid it contain a beaker it contain a jar in which we put the water on that water we place our glassware which we want to sterilize then we switch on the autoclave you just need to insert the button of autoclave and then you switch on it automatically it will start rising the temperature it will reach up to 130 degree celsius and boiling of water will start it will produce heme this stream it will produce stream this stream will go and sterilize your equipment which will increase efficiency of sterilization so in medical laboratory we use autoclave for sterilization purpose because it can provide us more in more more chance that there will be no contamination in our medium or in our experiment what we are performing so after washing the glassware we need to autoclave them or if you don't have autoclave you can heat dry them and then you will put them in hot air oven so that there is no chance of contamination if you are going to use them for some critical experiment okay so this is the experiment uh, so this kind of protocol will be used if you are doing some very high kind of research or very high kind of practical in your laboratory normally when you use this kind of glassware we don't throw them as it is we will fill some 
hot water or some water in those flask or those beaker if the glassware is soaked in water after the use that will be good because for example we use some chemical in our glassware so chemical can attach with the sides of glassware in next and when you came next day when you when you will come next day and want to clean them it will become more tough to wash those glassware so it is ideal after using you can add some amount of water in your glassware and for washing you can add some detergent solution for overnight when you come next to your laboratory just throw that water and i and add tap water in your glassware stir them and after washing with that tap water we generally add distilled water in our glassware and rinse that glassware with distilled water so what is this distilled water actually the water which we drink and water which we use in biochemistry lab is different in biochemistry lab we use distilled water for that i already shared a video in your group might be don't uh, didn't watch that video yet but i will request please watch that video once so what is distilled water it is deionized water the water we are drinking contain a lot of ions so that ion can interrupt your experiment which you are performing in your laboratory so to stop these kind of interruption in your experiment you will rinse your glassware with deionized water or distilled water in distilled water there is very low amount of ions ions for example magnesium sodium calcium the water which we are drinking contain lot of mineral and lot of ion we can't directly use that kind of water in our laboratory and as we are washing our glassware with tap water tap water also contain ion so that ion can stick with your glassware and when you are going to perform some experiment it can give you negative result or some error in your result so that's why we rinse our glassware with distilled water so after washing we can also we need to disinfect our glassware so what chemical we use for disinfection purpose generally any chemical which can release chlorine as chlorine has efficiency against the gram negative bacteria and gram positive bacteria including hiv hiv and hiv viruses so these kind of chemical which secrete chlorine can be used for disinfection purpose you know that those area which doesn't contain any good source of drinking water people add chlorine in their water the chlorine will cause disinfection because it will it is able because it can destroy a lot of viruses or lot of bacteria so it will help you in disinfection of water so there will be low less chance of diseases if we add chlorine in drinking water normally the area rural area face these kind of problem for example in india some places in rajasthan or bihar contain these kind of problem so for disinfection purpose we add chlorine in the water so in laboratory we also need to disinfect our glassware we can add small amount of chlorine during washing it will cause disinfection so there will be less chances of any pathogen for example virus or bacteria in your glassware here they provided an example we can use hypochlorite or which we known as bleach solution we will add some bleach solution small amount of bleach solution in the glassware in the domestic and laundry purpose and during washing of glassware if you don't have bleach solution you can add formaldehyde and glutaraldehyde these are aldehyde which also 
kill the microorganism and cause disinfection of our glassware. We can also use ethanol or propanol with a concentration of 70 to 80 percent. So what is this 70 to 80 percent mean? For example, we have a solution of 100 ml. In that 100 ml solution, we will add 70 ml alcohol. That solution will contain 70 ml of alcohol plus 30 ml of water. Then it will become 70 percent. What is mean of 80 percent? What do you meant by 80 percent? We will add 80 percent alcohol and 20 percent water. Then it will become 80 percent solution of ethanol or propanol. We are using sterilizers. Right now we are using hand sanitizer. These hand sanitizer contain alcohol ethanol or propanol in the volume of 70 percent generally 60 to 70 percent alcohol is present in your hand sanitizer because alcohol contains sterilization property or disinfection property in laboratory we need high concentration as we are only sterilizing our glassware or equipment so we use so we generally use 70% to 80% alcohol or propanol for sterilization purpose. Some phenols like Hycolin, Stericol can be used for sterilization purpose in our laboratory. So this is the way by which we can sterilize our glassware before using them. So there will be no chances of contamination from the outsources because glassware are uh, are preparing us for the experiment so it should be sterilized and for sterilization we have different type of techniques we can use automatic washer we can sterilize them manually by using these kind of techniques for example we can add some amount of chlorine hypochlorite we can add some amount of propanol, we can add some amount of ethanol or some amount of phenols. This is manual sterilization. And third, we can use autoclave. In autoclave, everything is automatic. You just need to put your glassware in autoclave. On what principle autoclave work? It work on the principle of steam under pressure due to pressure this stream will possess high temperature as compared to boiling water and it can kill that pathogen also which we can't kill by boiling the water so this is the main motto of using autoclave and some time uh, some type of detergent i already explained you you can use aldehyde chlorine alcohol phenol Here they had provided some commercial available detergent we use in our laboratory that is Leukinox and Alconox. These both contain alcohol. Alcohol should have following property. For example, your detergent shouldn't be toxic for yourself or for any useful microorganism wait someone is messaging me wait wait a minute please 